Hello, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a dire situation. Hey guys, guess what? There's an actual movie out that I'm interested in seeing. Hooray! Yes, so, um, didn't want to see Transformers 4. I found the other Transformers movies boring. Uh, didn't want to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because uh, by the same guy who made Transformers 4. So, but today, we get to see, like, a new Marvel film, Marvel's Always Good, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have never heard of this comic before this movie came out. Uh, looks pretty cool, though. Uh, looks like a bit different. Hopefully good different. From what I hear, it is good different. But I'll get to see that for myself. Um... Because as you all know, um, since I am some random uh, internet critic, that means that my opinion is far superior to everyone else's. This is just this is just a common fact, guys. Go with the program. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see. Hopefully, it'll be as good as Maleficent. God, I love Maleficent. But anyway, anyway. Um, in all serious thoughts, it, uh, when, I, when I'm, when I'm looking at the trailers and stuff, uh, just, yeah, I, li I like what I see. I don't usually like trailers, because they give away a bit too much, um, but, yeah, this, this one's seemed pretty good. I'm talking about the original teaser-ish trailer on not any other ones, if they've made any other ones, probably have. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it, and that is my opening thoughts. Okay, guys, so, um... Ugh, it's crazy-ass weather out there right now. It's, it was snowing a little bit ago, now it's heavy rain. Earlier today it was hail. Crazy, man. But getting to the movie... Oh, f fuck, man, I... I don't even know what to say about this. Well, what can I say that hasn't been said already? Marvel is awesome. Marvel is great. But, ah, oh, man. But there is a, a bit of a thing, like, uh... It's a little complicated. Oh, just a little. And this is mostly at the beginning, where they're like, uh, Theons and Zeons and Krepowatsits. And for a while, I was like, eh, what? what's this? What's that? I, I'm, I'm a little confused. But eventually, like any good movie with complicated sci-fi shit going on in the background, they eventually get it to the level where most people can understand. Good guys, bad guys, anti-heroes. <laughs> but you know, it's appreciated. <laughs> Not everyone would do that. This could have easily, with this, with um, all the stuff going on and all the complicated space stuff, happening like it could have easily turned into the amazing spider-man 2 where you're just like what the fuck is going on i don't even care anymore but it didn't and oh god it's it's beautiful it's beautiful I, i'm just i'm just thinking like uh i i um back in the days i used to be a little sad because uh you know the avengers um can't really be in a movie with the X-Men or Spider-Man or the Fantastic Four or anything because, like, they're all owned by different companies. But now that I know that they, that Marvel can take a group of misfits that I'd never heard of and make one kick-ass movie out of them, then who the hell needs those guys? Who the hell needs the X-Men anymore? We got, we got the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy, man. And I... That is, that is cool. That is way cool to me. Oh. oh, um, this should go without saying, but for those of you who've been under a rock for the past 12 years, um, stick around to the end of the credits. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how many people would actually understand the significance of what happens after the credits. I did, and it terrified me to no end, but I have I have mixed feelings on what was revealed at the end there. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how many people would understand it, but, uh, oh, I, I did, and, yeah, uh, kind of a new movie, kind of hinting at a new movie that 
I'm really not sure I want to see, but then again, Marvel's on a winning streak, has been for many years now, and I, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel about that. But, in the movie itself, it's just great. It's just, it's just awesome. The... They steadily introduce you to the characters, you... The movie's extremely quotable. That's, that's my main thing. You can always tell something is great when it's quotable. That means it's stuck in your mind. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing so many over-my-head jokes now, be, like, quote, quoting that. Be, because... <laughs> it's beautiful. I haven't... I, it's been so long since there's been a movie I actually feel like quoting a, lot, a few times. Even the Avengers, I don't rem I I only got one or two out of me. Uh, it was uh, it was mo mostly like uh, the um, <laughs> it was mostly just what the Hulk was doing really in that movie. But 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 my, my point is like it's a sign of a great movie. I'm pretty sure this movie is yet another milestone in the pa in the road Marvel is paving for the future. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't be poetic, I'm sorry. I'm not that good at it. Uh, uh, thumbs up. Um, what am I going to put at the end? Uh, you know, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Giving it a 9 out of 10 in the credits. Sorry for spoiling it for you. Um, I like this movie. Go see it if you haven't. Most people probably have, considering the amount of money it's made and deserves. Um, what are you doing watching my video? You should be booking tickets to watch it right now. Not some random ass guy on the internet who likes it like everyone probably does. Assumedly. Go! Bye! Um, I am Glenn Dyer. You have been watching a dire situation. Go! Go! Go!